Okay, so I'm watching this last, okay, not last, but this last for right now episode of of Love is Blind. Sorry, I'm into it. And then I'm going to go to the store. It's a rainy day. But I love running like errands on a rainy day and it's like a rainy Friday night. This is the first Friday night in ages that I've had to myself, so I am ecstatic. Half an hour left, 30 minutes left, but I'm going to Tokyo Kuma. I think I'm gonna get Ralph some food. I didn't get it yesterday, um, and I was supposed to have, so I like made him like a fresh meal, but I think I'm gonna get him some real food. Where else did I have to go? There was something else on there. I'll think of what the third errand I wanted to run was, but yeah, we'll do that after this like 30 minutes of <laughs> Love is Blind, but I'm into it. Aloha, so I just made it to Ulta. I actually remembered the place, the third place I had to go. I need to go to Freight Depot. I think it's called, oh no, Harbor Freight. It's called Harbor Freight, so I can get a TV rack to mount my TV. Oh my God. I didn't measure the diameter of my TV, so I really don't know what size to get. But you know what? It's just gonna have to happen another day. It is drizzling very consistently. It's raining. I'm sure you can hear it. It's raining. Um, and I like to park far, so I had to like really walk. And it's cold. So yeah, but I just got out of Ulta. I spent a little bit longer in there than I would have intended to, but I didn't do so bad. I didn't do so bad price-wise. So I got like a couple of masks. So this is one of the masks. They're all like the same brand. Okay, Tony Moly. And I've seen them in like little gift bags that I've ordered for people. So I really wanna actually try them and I'm glad I saw them at Ulta. A coffee one. This one is rice milk. This one's red wine. Then I did get just a box of sheet masks it's not many but i did just want to sample while i'm trying something new i know that the ones that i use from the japanese stores are a lot more reliable like i know exactly what i'm getting when i get those but since i couldn't find them in, at ulta and i didn't find that many options i did want to get like a pack of sheet masks so this one has like five in it there's another set that had a lot more but I don't know this brand, not super familiar with it. I don't know if anybody's heard of, I do care. It looks really neat. I actually got another thing from them. This is also, I do care, the same brand. And I got this Space Kitten charcoal exfoliating mask because I needed an exfoliant. So excited about this. The packaging's cute, Space Kitten's a cute name. And it's a charcoal exfoliant, so. I'm expecting good things. And lastly, I ended up getting these little patches. 
I know a lot of people that use acne patches, but I've never tried them. And then these are literally my favorite candy. Fun fact, y'all, I am absolutely obsessed with cotton candy. So I don't know if these smell like cotton candy, but if they do, I'm gonna be so excited. Conceal and heal with the cutest adhesive patches. These are hydrocolloid acne patches. That is mouthful. <laughs> I'm trying to say that three times really fast. Now that I'm not headed to Harbor Freight or wherever the heck, I am going to go get the dog some food and get a couple of things for the fish. I actually want to get some dark gravel. I want it to have black gravel in its new environment. And eventually I am going to get real aquatic plants to float around in there, but I'm not there yet. We're gonna take it baby steps at a time. We're just gonna get the, the things I have ready. I had ordered a couple of things on Amazon, so they'll come in the mail tomorrow. I'm really excited about those. That'll go in the tank, but we'll work later on another episode. We'll get like the actual um, aquatic thing that I do, but we're getting them started. I have just made it out to Pet Supermarket. In and out, hopefully. Here's what I got from the pet store. I got the dog food, of course, but I wanted jet black rocks for the aquarium. Got one pack, but they didn't have a second pack. So I went with like this color, blue and little turquoise. There were like emerald ones, but I like this little combination. And plus it already blends with some of the blue pebbles that I already have in points tank, but we'll see how it all looks. Although ideally it would have been all black and it would have been real cute. I was not able to find the heater that I was looking for. There were some cheaper heaters and they were gone. So I feel like I needed to order a smaller heater and it will be a lot more cost effective if I order it online. So I'm gonna do that. Right now I'm on the floor because I'm about to clear out my desktop area or like my TV stand. So this TV is gonna get mounted on the wall at some point. Plant is gone. You guys saw my episode on this. I told you I can't keep it alive, but I am gonna put it in water and see what I can do. If you see another episode, just know I did well. <laughs> Open this baby. I've been waiting for this all day. It looks really small in the box. We shall see. Let's take this out. This is the filter. A couple more pieces in here. This is the label that goes inside. I'm excited about this. This is super tiny. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be this narrow. There's no way this is three gallons. I'm absolutely returning this. No way. Somebody lied. But I cannot see on here three gallons. I saw it on the Amazon thing. So, we've got a bone to pick. I feel like I wouldn't be able to fit anything in here. In here, y'all see this O3? Like, so it must be, that must have to represent three gallons, right? <laughs> no, it really doesn't, but we will hope for the best at this point. Okay, so it is Saturday morning and I have to actually go into work today. It's one of my last couple days of managing a restaurant. I think I've told you guys about that before, but if not, surprise, I'm leaving. So I'm getting ready and then I'm going out of town after that. So I'm gonna go visit my granddad this weekend. All that to say, since I'll be out of town, I haven't used my Space Kitten mask, like exfoliating mask yet, but I'm gonna do that when I come back home from my trip tomorrow. Oh. And now my dad's calling me, hold on. In retrospect, I am doing, hmm the coffee depuffing mask that I got the other day. So, it smells like coffee. It smells really good. And I like how like, ooh, it's 
very liquidy, but it's like jelly almost. I like the material. I like the material of this mask. I feel like it sticks to my face nice and smoothly too. seed extract this mask will immediately increase circulation depuffing and reducing inflammation beneath the skin surface mm. the mask is made of non-irritating biodegradable tentacle fibers not tentacle oh tencel tensel fiber t-e-n-c-e-l however you pronounce that but definitely not tentacle fibers <laughs> that creates a snug custom fit for deeper product absorption that was definitely what I was trying to explain earlier. It's very much giving. I'm so excited to do the rice sheet mask one later. I might, that might end up being my favorite. I feel like I already know. But anyway, that's the one I just did. 20 to 30 minutes, damn. That's all I got. It's Monday, not gonna lie, this weekend was, to say the least, um, went a little differently than planned, at least Sunday in particular. But I did get all of my goodies from Amazon that I was waiting for and all the rest of the stuff for Point. So I'm so excited to show you. Some stuff is for Point, but then some stuff is for me. So some of this might go into another episode that's just about the fish or whatever, but we'll see how it plays out. Nonetheless, we're recording here live and I did not feel like doing my hair right now. So we've got it just wrapped up. Mm -hmm. That's just what we're going to do. So anyway, let's open my goodies. I don't know what's gonna be what, so there's a little, little fun surprise in every box. Does anybody remember the Wonder Ball? I'm definitely telling my age with that. First things first, I actually almost ordered these off Shein, but this, these right here are so stinking cute. They're little covers for my Stanley. I got a Stanley from my step-brother-in-law. Guess you can like call him that, but my stepsister's husband. He was my secret Santa. So he got me a Stanley cup um, along with some other items. And I wanted some covers for this straw. So um, I have been obsessed with teddy bears lately. So this does the trick. Little bunny, little brown bear, and my little chocolate brown bear. <laughs> the lights on. So cute, love it. Next, I actually ordered this for my friend. This is a built-in rechargeable like camera holder, phone holder, and it uses AI to like move when I move just like that. And I got the pink color here. I literally got this one for my friend. And she said it was doing well for her, but I had it checked on it in a while. But I was like, let me just go ahead and order it. This is like the little bottom piece. This is the body, the camera, sensor, whatever, the sensor really. And then my phone will go right up in here. I thought like the coolest part about this is I can screw this onto a tripod or I can have it like, you know, table height and put it in here. And literally I could use this right now because my phone is literally sitting, you are sitting in a bookcase right now. And I'm recording on my phone instead of my camera right now. It's got a little button here. I think that might be power. Seems a little off, but okay. It just needs to warm up. Yeah, this is me. Oh, I am so, <laughs> I'm so excited. <gasps> These are my yoga pants. You guys saw in my sportswear haul, that I got the black ones with these and I said if I loved the black ones, I was gonna order the olive. Let's like really get the light on it. This is such a freaking beautiful color. And these should fit just like the black ones, but we're still about to try on. Oh, and this is also from my sportswear haul, which I'm not wearing this for sports. I think this would just be like a leisure type of thing or a set that I layer and make it like a little travel outfit. Ugh. 
oh yes yes ma'am okay as you can see the waist is snatched and the pants just accentuate that okay <laughs> this green is so great i love it with my skin tone and uh name is Cher. sorry i'm putting up clothes right now super cute super freaking cute i think this last box is going to be the vicious stuff <laughs> hope that was not fragile this is for the fish these are the aquarium plants i had done some research and a lot of my research was saying be really careful about the plastic plants and try to do like the silk plants instead or real plants of course we're gonna see these don't seem too sharp um, but I'm gonna keep an eye because I don't want to hurt his fins or hurt him by having this in there but wow this is actually a lot bigger than I thought and I love how the colors look but um I definitely want to keep his safety a top priority this might not even fit in this tiny little aquarium I'm concerned that because the tank is so narrow that this might be way too wide. It's already giving way too wide. This is ginormous. There is no way. There's no way this is fitting. And that's sad because it is so cute. It was the cutest. It's like this little rocky oasis. He can swim in between the holes and stuff like that and hide out. Got the little house. So cute. And I thought it would be so cute when I add like real plants eventually. But um, this is not fitting. This is definitely not fitting in that tank. I think I really needed the bigger one for this. Let's see. No. Nope. Depends on how they like flow in here, but I don't know. We're definitely gonna have to make some adjustments. So stay tuned for a future episode coming soon. Probably the next one, if not the next one, if not the next, but like the next couple episodes, one of them is gonna be about the fish and this whole mess that we've got going on here. I'm still in the middle on it. Gotta figure out if it's a tank that needs to be replaced or smaller pieces because I still do have concerns about the size of the tank. So stay tuned. And if you're interested, follow my journey. But we are about to give Beta the best life ever. Yeah. You know what I'm missing? I ordered a keychain for my car. And I don't have it. Hold on. Okay. So it fell out. It was like halfway under my bed. But I got a little keychain for eight. So I got my car back not too long ago. I had to get some repairs on it some very extensive repairs so that's another story but I wanted a keychain to just commence the occasion in the reuniting of me and eight so here it is and it's in a ball the for eight just the little things <laughs> anyway that was all my stuff that was all my goodies we're gonna do space kitten later when I actually get around to washing my face but getting my life together right now so Okay, this is the last little piece for tonight or for this episode. 
because the weekend is definitely over. It is Monday night at this point. But finally trying the Space Kitten mask that I got from Ulta. I'm liking the I Do Care brand masks that I have right now. I have some masks that you guys saw me get. Loving them. And so I have a good feeling about this, but we shall see. This is like a T-zone charcoal mask too. So it's not really for the full face, but Ooh. Oh my gosh. It smells. It smells amazing. But off rip, look at this. It's like a sparkly blue, sparkly black. And it has like blue and purple sparkles in it. It's beautiful. Can y'all see this? So pretty. I can definitely see how this is a peel off mask already by the way it dries on my fingers. I kind of applied it to my forehead too, <laughs> but I think that's okay. But your T-zone essentially is down your nose and on your like cheekbones kind of, just above them, right under the eyes. But I extended it just a teeny weeny onto the forehead. And that's the T-zone, so it's not a full on mask. We'll see. We'll see how it goes but i love the way it applies it's so smooth and it smells so good i cannot explain what this is like just has a very perfumey sort of fragrance but wow peel is no joke because it's stuck under my nails <laughs> like literally this mask sticks so it's gonna harden pretty well and I might regret putting it on my eyebrows, but I'll just use a rag to get it off, worst case scenario. And I'm probably gonna end up taking this mask off in bed because it's gonna be late, 20, 30 minutes. What was I thinking? There's like this one little spot right here where it's a little damp, but it's getting late and I am waking up early for the gym tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling this off. Oh, but this is truly a peeling mask. It doesn't hurt. Just want you to see. I'm not sure if I feel like it gets deep enough into the pores though because I don't see anything coming out but this is my first time using it so we'll continue to see what it does and maybe it's not necessarily one of those masks that will pull things out of the pores as much as it will just detoxify deeper within because it's a charcoal mask but we'll see We'll keep checking in and in a later episode, at some point, I'll tell you how it's going. But continue to stay tuned. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want more content like this, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Ask any questions. Let me know you're there. Pools check. Finally, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss a single beat when next week's episode drops and so that anyone that you know and love who could really benefit from this episode can enjoy it with you. And I'll see you guys next week. Good night and bye, guys. <laughs>